Point weather and traffic together with Michelle. Well, Danielle, that 97 degree high we had yesterday not only broke a daily record for September the 8th, but also is coming in as the third hottest September day on record in Rhode Island, topped by September 11th, 1983, when we hit 100 degrees, and September 2nd, 1953, when he hit 99 for the high. It's not going to be quite as hot today. We're thinking closer to 90 degrees for the high temperature, but hot enough, uncomfortable enough in the classrooms and for after school activities. We've got our threat tracker up into the medium categories. It's just a heads up. You need to maybe take it a little easy today again. Tonight, tomorrow, we're going to bring down the temperatures a little bit, but also bring in some rainfall. Here's the future cast with those temperatures this morning. Mid and upper 70s outside right now, add in that very muggy air, and it feels closer to 80 degrees here early this morning in Providence, Newport, New Bedford, feeling like 81 with the heat index. Radars quiet across Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts. No showers or storms in the forecast for today. We've got to wait on a cold front. The front's still back to our west, and it's going to slide eastward over the next 24 hours before moving into southern New England tomorrow and early Friday, finally pushing it offshore after an area of low pressure develops along that front. So future cast at uh, 9 o'clock this morning, about 78 degrees, partly cloudy skies giving way to full sunshine, 89 hot and humid this afternoon, winds picking up out of the south southwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour, and then dropping to about 70 overnight with uh, some showers possible late at night with the southwest wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. So while inland areas will be close to 90, the coastline will be at about 81. That fog and leftover low cloud covers have been quickly giving way to sunshine. Water temperatures around 72 right now. High tide 542 on the bay this morning. We have a low tide at 11 26 south southwest winds today and pick up at about 5 to 15 knots future cast for Thursday. So we're going to bring in a chance of showers by Thursday morning. Notice what happens where the intensity, the coverage of the showers tends to pick up through the day on Thursday. Yellows and oranges indicative of downpours, but also the possibility of some embedded thunderstorms. It's not an all day washout for most of us, but scattered showers and thunderstorms are a good bet, especially the later we go into Thursday evening and Thursday night. So if you're planning on heading to Gillette Stadium for the Pats game, pack the rain gear. This is midnight Friday morning and the rain continues through the night, waking up to probably a damp start Friday morning for the commute. But then the trend is to dry things out. So by the afternoon, a lot of clouds around at one o'clock, but drier conditions in the seven day future cast. And I do think we'll pick up between maybe one and two inches of rainfall between Thursday and Friday, much needed beneficial rain for our area. And it also brings down the temperature. So 89 for today, then 81 for the high temperature tomorrow. Still thinking we're in the 70s for the Pats game, tailgating and game time. The possibility of showers, some of them heavy, very muggy air in place still. Friday, looking at highs around 75. So that's a big change with uh, 70 degrees at 8 a.m. Some slow clearing through the afternoon, 75 by 4. Saturday looks dry. Sunday, we do have some showers. Sunday into Monday, the possibility of some scattered showers in our area. It looks like another warming trend by the middle of next.